Good morning, Shady Grove Baptist Church, or afternoon, whatever time you happen to be watching this video. As you can see right here, we're opening soon. The governor has declared that churches are open for business. Now, what this means is that some churches will be opening their doors to worship this Sunday, some the next Sunday, some have decided to stay closed for the time being. Larger churches, it's really hard to provide safe social distancing when you have 10,000 people in a worship service. So many of those churches have decided to stay closed for a while. Shady Grove Baptist Church, however, has a rather large auditorium and we will be able to provide safe social distancing and still meet for worship. So, Sunday, May 10th, we are back in business. This is Mother's Day. Uh, traditionally, this is a large Sunday for us, and even if it is a larger than normal Sunday, we will still be able to provide social distancing uh, and meet, I would say, meet all the governor's criteria for churches, but really, there are no criteria for churches. I've read the material, and we're safe to meet, but we will provide social distancing Sunday, May 10th. Now, a few things will change, and this is temporary, we hope. So please pay attention so you'll know what the changes are. Number one, we're going to have a combined Bible study. All the adult classes will meet together in the worship center from 10 to 10.45 a.m. The adult teachers are taking turns. We're going to rotate teaching, but all the adult classes will be combined. This helps us to have better, better and more adequate spacing in between us uh, from 10 to 10.45. The adults will meet in the worship center. Youth will meet upstairs. They're still going to be spaced out and the children, all the classes will be combined in the children's worship area upstairs. We're going to set up tables and chairs and have them spaced and have the kids sit in ways that they are practicing that safe social distancing. So, worship service Sunday, May 10th and going forward um, until we feel it's safe to do otherwise will be 10 to 10.45 and the combined classes. Also, nursery will not be provided. If you have nursery age children, infants and toddlers, we will not have a Sunday school or nursery provided for them. You are welcome, more than welcome to attend church and keep your child with you. Uh, we welcome that. If you want to bring your kid, your toddler, your infant, bring them and keep them with you. Also, um, I already said that. Uh, worship service will be 11 a.m. to noon. So from 11 till noon, we'll have a worship service. We're going to cut out a few things that we can't do and still practice safe social distancing. Um, number one is we're only to, going to use the front doors. The side doors, fellowship hall doors will be locked. Um, the doors will be designated as entrance and exit. We ask that you please respect that. If this door says entrance, go in. If it says exit, go out. Don't do vice versa. Please respect the doors that say entrance and exit. Also, the pews will be cordoned off and separated in a way that makes it safe for everyone. We only want you to sit with people who live in your household. If there's people that you're around every day, all day, that you live together, sit with those people. I know this means that some pews will, that people normally sit in will be blocked. Uh, we're not intentionally blocking your pew to keep you from sitting there. We're keeping people apart so that we can practice safe social distancing. Also, uh, we will suspend the greeting fellowship time. I know this is some of your favorite time in church, uh, but for the time being, it just doesn't make sense to do that. So we're going to suspend it for a while. Also. Uh, we will suspend choir. We're not going to have people up in the choir loft uh, congregating together, so for a while we're going to have to suspend choir. Also, our offering, we will have boxes um, available at the back of the auditorium near the doors. So if you want to give your offering in person, you can. You can still give online, you can still mail, but we're going to have offering uh, boxes and plates will not be passed. Um, sanitizing. The church will be properly cleaned and sanitized each week in between services. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, also, I want to make sure you understand this. Everyone has their ideas and thoughts on this epidemic and what is appropriate and what is not appropriate, what is adequate, adequate and what is not. Uh, we respect everyone's opinion. 
we're going to respect uh, one another and we're going to love one another. Our opinions, our beliefs. This is very important because we all have different ideas what's right, what's wrong. Right now it just seems with this there is no right or wrong. But understand this, we are a family and sometimes families disagree and that's okay. We're going to still love each other and we're going to respect each other. Um, our worship services will continue to be online. Uh, we're not sure exactly what that's going to look like. We'll probably go back to the Facebook Live. We're going to try try to do YouTube Live. Uh, that's a little bit more difficult than Facebook Live, but either way, worship services will be broadcast live and the recorded service will also be placed on afterwards. So if you're not able to get on and watch live, you can get on later and watch the recorded service. Um, we'll also try to broadcast the adult Sunday School. For those of you who want to participate in Sunday School but can't be here in person, we'll have the Sunday School uh, lessons um, broadcast live also. So, you are important. Your health and safety are important. If you are high risk, if you are someone who has underlying health issues, or you're in that high risk age group, or there's someone in your household that is high risk, I'm asking you, please stay home. Just because the church is open, just because you miss this is not a reason to risk your life or the life of someone you love. This is very important to me. Um, we love you, we miss you, but we still want you here for a while. Uh, we're not ready for you to go to heaven. Uh, we want you with us in person, but we can wait. So please stay home. We love you. Shady Grove, I miss you. I love you. I'm excited that some of you, I get to see you Sunday. Some of you, uh, we're going to have to wait a few more weeks, maybe a month or two. But we're going to be back together again soon. Uh, so remember, this Sunday, we're still online, May 5th. I think it's May 5th, 6th, 4th, I don't know. Uh, whatever this Sunday is, we're still online, and then the following Sunday, May 10th, Mother's Day, we will be meeting in person, but we will still broadcast online. Uh, church will be different than you're used to. Remember that. Uh, your pew may not be available. Uh, your Sunday school spot will not be available. Uh, but we'll be together. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful time worshiping Jesus together, and uh, I look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, you can call me. Uh, you can email me. You can text me, you can get on the church website, uh, find a way to contact me there. Again, have a wonderful week, and we will see you in person May 10th. Have a great day.